Good morning fine people. Um, a few more than I thought actually. I've picked up a few subscribers this week which I'm immensely grateful for. Um, I don't do this for YouTube, I don't really do this for subscribers, I do this for messing around with bikes and the joy of messing around with bikes. Um, and um, yeah, that's why I do it. Um, the joy of playing with them is one thing, the joy of other people enjoying playing with them uh, and having conversations with them is another. Uh, enjoy them both, probably about equally. But the main reason is to play with these things. Um, so what? So the new and painted exhaust is on and actually looks pretty good. Um, you see the wheel back on, looks pretty bad. Um, I haven't got the new tyre, I ordered one. Um, with Covid on and everything I'm not going to start slacking small businesses because they are struggling at the moment but if I didn't have to use the one I'm using uh, I wouldn't. Um, ordered on Tuesday, came in on Thursday, got a phone call from them on Friday saying come and pick it up followed by another one saying can you confirm if you wanted a front or a rear. I confirmed that I wanted a rear. They'd ordered a front which is really irritating but so be it. That's what it is. I uh, didn't want to put the wheel back on but I wanted to put the exhaust on because I'd painted it and it was here. Um, something a bit early, but um, let's see. She goes. Let me just set you on down there. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Bearing in mind that is literally tacked on, so that's uh, as in one bolt, hand tight at the bottom of the uh, engine bracket, so. and I can hear myself talk with it on. Uh, looks great. Well, happy. Uh, just shut that off so you can hear me. Um, yeah, so like I say, tagged on, that's not even on, because I'm going to have to take it all off on uh, uh, probably next weekend when I put the wheel on, um, due to arrive Tuesday, but I probably, oh, I might find time to do it, and I might film it, but I doubt it. So, other bits and pieces, dodgy spray job and dodgy field job on the seals, um, better than they were, so what am I going to do today? Uh, I need to do this caliper. So I need to at least try and recondition it. I've had one go, a bit half arsed because as I said before, the engine wasn't working, so it wasn't particularly trying, but the piston is pretty cack. I don't, if I can get it out, I think it's salvageable, um, but I don't know. I want to try and salvage that today. If I don't, I've spotted one for 20 quid on eBay, but I don't want to throw more money at this project uh, if I don't have to. Um, what I might do, uh, one thing I did spot, I've never had a front mug guard. <laughs> Didn't even notice till I was looking around and saw a little shard of red. There you go. Thought, I wonder what it used to be attached to that. There's no front mud guard came with this. Um, I don't think it particularly needs one. Um, I'll have a look. I've seen them on eBay for about 20 quid again, but again, it just starts eating into the money. Um, yeah, so I think today's gonna be a little bit of a bodywork day. Um, done some bits, uh, bits and pieces as we go through. Um, I've got the front fairing out the back uh, pretty much ready to spray so let's go and check those out. So pretty much prepped I've got the uh, front fairing um, I really just rubbed it down so where I had rough edges where it's had a drop I've just smoothed off um, I haven't refilled I've just smoothed them off round a little bit uh, so they won't be quite so bad um, the one crack that I'd stuck together I've now I say filled over so um, one of the subscribers sorry mate I can't remember your name I'll dig it out and I'll, and I'll say thanks properly but I uh, mentioned about the uh, super glue and bicarbonate of soda trick um, as filler it's a trick using it as filler so put the super glue on then just tap sprinkle the bicarbonate of soda over the top and it dries rock hard instantly brilliant and sands down really easily as well um, really good um, 
I did find that if you went wet and dry on it quite quickly afterwards it went a bit tacky so I wouldn't suggest doing that and actually although you can sand it down immediately you're probably better off giving it a bit of time uh, than one there and a little bit on the bottom round there on a, on a previous JB uh, weld 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 bits uh, a bit of a rub down on the general surfaces and I'll give those a spray uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, brake cleaner on it just to get rid of any grease from their fingers and if it's not. Um, so what am I trying to achieve? I'm not trying to achieve perfection. Um, I'm not going to try and do this and try and kid any potential buyer that it's brand new. That's not the point. Um, it's just to make it look better. Um, could I got away without doing this? Probably could. Could have just left it a little bit rough. But a bit of a perfectionist when something's gone. So that perfectionist, I don't want a professional final finish. I'd love to, but people do this for a living and they're better at it than I can. And they will achieve a lot more than I can do with a rattle can. Um, so uh, I'm going to give it a few goes and show you how it looks. What I'm not going to do is film me spraying. Simple reason behind that. It seems to be one of the most emotive things in the world. Um, uh, much like sex, there's loads of videos online on technique um, and everybody differs and everybody thinks theirs is best. Um, much like sex, mine works, but it ain't particularly pretty. Um, so I'm not going to video, I'll do a few snapshots um, of uh, the results as I go through, but I'm just after better. Cool, more to follow. Okay, so one quick coat down uh, that's what I'm using uh, effectively what they had in the local hardware shop I've uh, got a couple of cans of that but satin black um, first quick coat on um, not too bad the bits that I have uh, uh, um, put some I mean, filler on I suppose turning out right, not perfect, but frankly, I wasn't fussed about perfect. Just wanted to hold together and look better. So looking better already. Uh, other one on as well. Yeah, fine. So I'm going to give it about 20 minutes, give it another few. Um, I always like to leave a little bit in the can just for when I miss bits. Uh, so I'll make my way through this can, um, most of the next one, and then show you the results so far. Well, I hope it will be really quick before and after because my pantry is about to die already so I'm going to have to take this on charge. So while I've got my paint out, let's just have a rattle around the various bits and pieces. So that's the, that's the before shot. Bone is flashing so I'm going to chuck it on charge. Okay, so back on and that's as much as I'm going to do. Um, yeah, it's that the rattle can look isn't it it's always never quite as good as you hope but good enough hopefully um, that's right I'm quite happy with that um, and actually the bits that I've repaired look pretty good and um, products wise just so you guys know what I do and I've showed you that I have chucked on some uh, varnish uh, clear matte not to be matte more satin but um, it should protect it a little bit um, I'm in no rush to chuck them back on, so I'm just going to leave them out to cure. They're out of direct sun, uh, not a problem. Before I do anything with them though, before I handle them and all of that, after it's cured, I tend to chuck a bit of polish on them. Um, just normal, like uh, car polish, bike polish, whatever. Um, just to give them a little bit of protection, um, more than they've already got. And I'll just take you around to the bike scooter. Uh, and scooter wise uh, a tiny little bit of touch up on bits that I hadn't quite painted um, the flywheel cover um, just took it off and dunked it in a bucket basically and it came up really nice and clean um, I've done both of the pegs um, just took them off a bit of paint on the actual black itself borrowed one of the kiddies paint brushes to get in the uh, 
little grooves and stuff. I haven't bothered with this bit. It just looks a bit better. Gonna need some back to bike or something. Bear in mind, I've just it's just struck me. I haven't actually jet washed this at all. I've just cleaned bits as I've taken it off. So there's some like green mold and stuff in there. So I need a jet wash before I bother um, back to blacking it. Uh, I haven't really touched the front. Still need to do that brake. I don't know whether or not I'll do that today. I might save it for tomorrow. Um, and the bigger bit of painting, uh, obviously, than the other rear um, peg. Um, but I've completely done the housing as well now. I didn't want to use spray paint on it. Um, I'm concerned about heat more than anything else. Oh, I've not done that up yet either. That's it. Right, I'll sort that out in a second. I just realised I haven't put the Jubilee clip on the hose. Um, so that's got the same paint as on the exhaust, so it is um, high temperature paint. Um, uh, and just giving it a couple of uh, coats. Um, it's a little bit brush marky, but frankly, it's considerably better than it was. And uh, as I stated at the beginning, my entire philosophy for bodywork is better than it was. And it's taken some of that age off the bike a little bit. There's still bits that show it's old. There's a bit of a uh, a drop at some point. Um, I'd love to take the shocks off and do something with them. I really can't be asked to take the uh, rear fairing off to get to it. Um, now I might do something, might not. Um, I don't think it's too much of an issue. But um, yeah, bear it in mind. The exhaust is still loosely tagged on. This terminology it's turning out to be a little bit of a hero um, yeah the only th so the only thing for this weekend if not today is just to see if I can salvage this uh, caliper I've had it off once uh, it's really quite shagged um, but I want to see if I can get the piston out if I can get the piston out I think it's salvageable and I'll do something with it uh, failing that I'll just buy one uh, and the only other bit, obviously, is the uh, rear wheel slash rear tyre, which I can't do until I've got one, uh, which is a bit of a pisser. But, yeah, that'll do me for the day. Well, maybe, maybe not. I might get that caliper done. <laughs>